Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I wanted to go over the best way to paint the inside of a camper really quick. Um, I had a lot of people ask me the past couple months about what are the best products to use, the best way to do it. Um, so let me give you a quick run through of what I use. Um, I've been doing this about two years. I've done six, seven campers. Um, this one right here is a flip camper and then right now I have another client camper that I'm working on um, So I have learned quite a few things over the years about what's good to use um, And what's not so the first thing that I typically do um, Once I get to the painting stage is clean all of the walls um, I use simple green you can buy them in big containers at Home Depot um, just mix a bunch of water with a little bit of simple green and clean every surface that you're going to paint. Um, and that just kind of strips it of all of the dirt and the nasty stuff that builds up over the years. Um, so definitely clean your walls first. Um, second step is you might need to sand. Um, you know, if you have any holes you need to fill in, definitely fill those in. Uh, I'm sure you guys probably already know all that, but... I'll just say it anyway uh, and then if you have real wood cabinets you're going to want to give them a light sand with some like 220 sandpaper um, and that just kind of gives it a good surface um, the paint a good surface to adhere to if you have the particle board um, I would definitely not suggest sanding that one because once you sand that top layer off it's really hard to get anything to stick to that cardboard um, so, you know, just kind of look at it and try to determine, you know, which kind of doors you have. Um, so next thing, um, once you've cleaned everything and it's all dry, um, you're going to want to prime and I would not suggest skipping this step because, uh, to me, this is the most important step because for some reason the walls and campers are notorious for, you know, paint not adhering to them. Um, and priming is a really, really important step in order to get your paint to last a long time. Now, I know they make paint and primers and ones, which is what we will be using additionally on your primer. Um, but they don't have as good adhesion if you just use the paint and primer and one. You really need, um, you know, an actual primer itself, like a really good primer. So I use Kills 3. Um, you can use 2. Um, but I just like three because it's got like a stain blocker in it and I like to paint with the idea that I'm going to be able to just wipe it with whatever I want to wipe it with. Um, you know, I don't want stains bleeding through or there's just no telling. Um, and I've got three boys and so <laughs> there's no telling what's going to be on my camper walls at any given time and I want to be able to wipe them down. And I don't want to be able to wipe the paint away when I wipe my cabinets off. So definitely use the primer. Um, so, you know, first step, clean it. Simple green. Second step, sand, fill your holes, all that fun stuff. Third step, use your primer. Now, after you prime everything, and I mean everything, you're going to want to wait 24 hours and let it cure. Um, that way it's fully dry before you start trying to apply your paint. Now the paint that I use is Bear Marquee. Um, I have used a lot of different types of paint and this is the only one that I can wipe, that will stay, that will not um, look, I don't know, some, some paints just don't look great when you have to put them on. It's also technically a one coat um, paint, but I usually put two on just to be safe. Um, so that one, I've, I've used several others in the past. I've also tried the Bear Dynasty one that's new. And I wasn't super impressed with it because I feel like they just made it thicker. And that's not always necessarily a good thing when it comes to paint. Especially when you have all these little crevices you're trying to get into and your paint's so thick. And then it just kind of clumps up and it just, it just doesn't look great. So um, that's pretty much it. I mean couple steps um, you know these are products that I use that I have found they work really well they last a long time um, because I think that you know somebody's gonna pay a lot of money for a camper I think it should be able to last 
Um, and I think that, you know, they should have, you know, quality products used on it. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let me show you guys real quick. You know, this is kind of where I'm at with this camper. I have started to put the green in. That's my little heater there because it's freezing. <laughs> um, so basically, I've done the green and the white. And then I have a charcoal color. Um, I'm going to build an entertainment center right here. But I have to put the flooring and all that stuff in because I'm going to build it on top of the flooring. Um, it's just easier that way. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment and I will do my best to answer them. Um, any other products you guys are wondering about, you know, just let me know and I can kind of give you my honest opinion on it. Um, cause I have definitely used a lot of products. So hopefully you can learn from my trial and error, um, you know, and just kind of do it a little more efficiently than I did when I first started. Um, anyway, y'all have a good night. Hey, Megan. Um, something that I forgot to mention in the last video. Um, people ask me if I hand roll or if I use a sprayer. Um, and I'll tell you that I have tried using a sprayer several times. Um, it just, I just don't like them. Um, so I usually hand roll, but that is totally like personal, you know, um, just whatever you guys feel comfortable with. If you know how to spray, that's great. Um, I would definitely suggest at least hand rolling the primer because it's so thick that you have to water it down so much for it to work in the spray to begin with. And then it kind of defeats the purpose of the really thick, heavy primer if you keep having to water it down. Even if you do put a bunch of coats on there, it still kind of loses its effect once you add a bunch of water to it. So um, that's just my two cents. Whatever you guys feel comfortable with, that's great. Um, but I typically just roll it. Um, now for cabinets and stuff like that, the dollar store sells these foam rollers. And I usually just buy a bunch of those. Um, and they're really good about not leaving like lines and, you know, stuff like that. And it kind of just gives it a really nice clean look and it doesn't really look like it's rolled. So I think that's part of the reason why I just hand roll is because I've done it so much that I know how to make it look like it's not hand rolled with all the lines and overlaps and all that stuff. So anyway, just wanted to throw that in there. I forgot to say that in the last video. So, um, yeah, maybe one day somebody will teach me how to use the sprayer correctly. And day's not today, though. So, not today. <laughs> Bye, y'all.